A movement targeting the bottom lines of companies tied to Israel is pitting students against students at Barnard. It's the women's school affiliated with Columbia University. The movement is called BDS, which stands for the Boycott, Divestment and Sanctions Campaign Against Israel. For the last week, students had a chance to vote yes or no on this two-page referendum. It highlights eight companies, including Caterpillar, Boeing and Hewlett-Packard, and explains each one's ties to the Israel Defense Forces. It asks students to decide whether Barnard should divest its endowment funds and stocks in those companies. Some companies like Caterpillar, which make like heavy machinery, that here is used for like general construction um, in Palestine and the West Bank. They're used for extrajudicial um, home demolitions. The way that the referendum was presented on the SGA vote, which was basically saying here is, are these companies that are create, doing horrible human rights violations and not giving any nuanced opinion whatsoever. 64% voted to divest, 36% voted against it. Jewish students make up one-third of Barnard College's population. About half of the 2,500 student body participated. What it does do in the public sphere is delegitimize Israel, give Israel a bad reputation, and make it increasingly uncomfortable for pro-Israel uh, supporters, including Jewish students on campus, to uh, publicly identify with Israel. The Anti-Defamation League says it's concerned Concerned about BDS and is now educating students and parents about it in high school before they arrive on campus. Uh, we feel at the macro level that BDS is something that inherently is ridden with anti-Semitism. Officials at Barnard would not go on camera but told us we are aware of the Student Government Association's referendum on divestment but we have not received a formal request. As with any student referendum which is a valuable expression of opinion the outcome does not compel the college to take a specific action. Here at Barnard, the student government will vote on Monday on whether they will send a letter to the administration asking them to divest in these companies. In Morningside Heights, Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.